Hello guys and welcome back to another video tutorial series on searching algorithms. And today's question is, given an array of integers, we have to find a triplet that sums up to a given number. So for example, we are given an array of integers where we need to find out a triplet that produces a sum of 24. So let's first understand what a triplet means. So a triplet means a combination of three numbers. So within this array, the number 12, 3, 4 is a triplet. Similarly, 12, 3, 1 is another triplet. So there can be many number of triplets which can be formed by this given array. And our problem statement says that we have to find a triplet like this whose sum is equal to 24. So over here in this array, if we see that if we make a triplet of 12, 3, and 9 that produces a sum of 24. Thus, we need to find out this triplet in the most optimized way. So over here also, I will be giving two solutions, one as a brute force approach and another is the optimal solution. So before jumping into the optimal solution, let's first understand the brute force approach of solving the problem. So the problem statement over here is quite simple and easy to understand. But during technical interview, if you do not know the exact way of approaching the problem, it might take a lot of time to solve this problem. Also, finding the optimal solution can be a bit tricky for this problem. So let's solve this problem using brute force method. But before solving the problem, I would request you that if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from my side and you are always ready for your next interview. So let's solve this problem using our brute force approach. So solving this problem using the brute force approach is quite simple. So over here, what you have to do, you have to generate all the triplets that can be formed from this given array of numbers. And on generating each and every triplet, you have to calculate the corresponding sum of each and every triplet. And then you have to match the corresponding sum of the triplet with the given sum over here. And if the summation value of that triplet matches over here, then you have your desired solution. So the first step of solving this problem is we have to calculate all the triplets from this given array. So over here in our brute force approach of solving the problem, we will be calculating all the triplets using three for loop i, j and k. So iterating this three for loop till the end of this list, we can get all the possible triplets that can be formed over here. So let's write the code to solve using this method so that it will be easy for you to understand the solution. So let's name the function as finding triplet. And over here, we will be passing the entire array. So over here, to find each and every possible triplet from this given array, we will be writing three inner for loop to find our solution. So using this three inner for loop, we can get our desired triplet. And we have to check that whether the sum value of the given triplet is equal to 24 or not, which is the sum value provided in the parameter. So over here, we are checking that if one of the triplet, which is formed by the element a of i, a of j, and a of k, have the summation value of 24, means over here, we have got our desired output, means a triplet from this array whose sum is equal to 24. So if we get this triplet, we will break the condition over here. If not, we will keep looping this for loop until and unless we get our desired solution. So this is basically the complete solution of solving this problem using the brute force algorithm. So over here, you can see the solution of this problem is quite trivial and easy. But if you calculate the complexity of this problem, you can see that the complexity is quite high for solving this problem. So over here, you can see we are using three internal for loop for which the complexity of the problem is order of n cube. So we need to further optimize this problem so that we can get our desired solution in the most optimized way. So to find the solution using the most optimized way, we will be using an additional data structure to solve this problem. So let's see how we can solve this problem in less than order of n cube and how we can get our optimized solution. So let's jump into the next solution where we will be solving the same problem in the most optimized way. 
So as you have seen in our last video where we were solving this problem using brute force approach over there to find the triplet within this array of number we were using 3 inner for loops and that is why the complexity of our problem became order of n cube. But while solving the problem in the optimized way, we won't be using 3 for loop to find out the triplet. Rather, we will be using an external data structure to simplify our problem so that we can optimize further. So before writing the code of the optimized solution, let's first understand that how we are going to solve this problem. So over here, to find out the optimal solution, we will be using two for loop and one additional data structure and that is a hash set. So let's see how we will be solving the problem. So let's consider that we have an array of integer over here. So over here, we will be iterating a loop from i equal to 0 to i n minus 1. That is till the end of this list. And while doing this iteration, we will capture one item as our pivot item. So for the first iteration, for i equal to 0, our pivot item is 12. So it's quite obvious from our general mathematics that if our first item that is the pivot item is 12 and the total sum required for the triplet is 24 means the remaining sum of the two digit will be 12. So it's like sum equal to summation of three numbers where the known factor is this sum that is 24 and also one of the number which is our pivot number. So over here this 12 is our pivot number. So now the summation of this two number that is the two unknown y and z is equal to 12. That means from this remaining array we need to find out two integers whose sum is equal to 12. So now with this approach we have converted our problem from finding the sum of three number to finding the sum of two numbers. That means we need to find out two numbers from here having the summation value as 12. And you know that to find out the sum of two number in the most optimized way, we use an external data structure that is the hash set. And we will be using that approach over here. So to understand this solution more easily, let's use our visual display board so that it will be easy for you to visualize the code. So let's jump into the solution using our visual display board. So as we were discussing, we have to find a triplet from this given array so that the summation of that triplet is equal to 24. So to solve this problem in the most optimized way, we are iterating a loop from i equal to 0 till the end of the array. And on each iteration, we are keeping that number as our pivot item. So over here you can see that the value of the pivot item is 12 and the total value of the triplet is 24. That means that the sum of the missing numbers should be equal to 12. Now to find out that pair from the remaining array, we will be starting one more loop from the next element of the pivot item and that is from i equal to 1. So it is quite clear that the value of the missing number that we have to find from the rest of this array is equal to sum minus pivot minus the value of array of g and we have to find out this corresponding value from the remaining array. But over here to solve the problem of finding the third number from the array, here instead of using another loop, we will be using an additional data structure that is the hash set. So over here the pivot item is 12, the element at the jth index is 3 and the total value of the triplet is 24. That means the missing number is 9. So we will be checking whether the value 9 is present in the hash set or not. So over here the value 9 is not there in the hash set means we have not encountered any element within this iteration whose value is 9 until this point. So over here since the value of 9 does not exist in the hash set, we will be pushing the value 3 in the hash set. Means within this ongoing iteration we have seen the value 3 within this loop. That is why we are putting the value 3 in our hash set and we are moving our pointer forward to the next position that is j equal to 2. So over here similarly we will be checking the value of the missing number. So over here the missing number value is 8 and we are again checking that whether the value a is present in the hash set or not means whether we have encountered the value previously or not. So over here also the value 8 is not present. Thus we will push the value of array of j into our hash set and we will move forward and we will keep on doing the same process repeatedly. 
So over here at the last position of our iteration, you can see that the value of array of j is 9 and thus our missing value is 3 which is present in our hash set which means that there exists two value one is 3 and another is 9 whose sum value is equal to 12 and thus we have achieved our goal of finding a triplet whose sum is equal to 24. So over here you can see that the pivot element was 12 and the two missing number that we have to find out from here was 3 and 9 and thus the total sum of this triplet is 24. So I hope you guys have understood the solution of this problem means how we have optimized our problem from order of n cube to order of n square by using an additional data structure and that is a hash set. So over here if you try to calculate the total complexity of the problem the total time complexity of finding the triplet of sum is order of n square and the space complexity since we have used an additional data structure is order of n. So let's proceed with the implementation of this algorithm using our Java code so that it will be easy for you to understand and implement the algorithm of solving this problem. So let's implement this algorithm using our Java code. So, so far we have discussed how to solve this problem in the most optimized way. Now let's implement the algorithm using our Java code. So let's name the function as finding the triplet. And over here we will be passing the entire array as our parameter along with the given sum for which we have to compute. So as we have discussed in our visual display board that to solve this problem in the most optimized way we will be using two loops. One loop for setting one of the integer as our pivot element and another loop for finding the two missing number from the remaining array. So let's write the first loop of setting the pivot item. So over here we have written our first for loop for initializing the pivot item. Now our objective is to find the remaining two number whose sum is equal to 12. And to find that solution in the most optimized way, we will be using a hash set over here. So over here, let's define a hash set. So now the next step is we need to find out the two missing number from this remaining array. So the sum of the two missing number is as follows. And to find this two number over here, we will be writing another for loop over here. So as we have discussed in our visual display board while explaining the algorithm that we will try to check that whether the missing number is present in the hash set or not. So if the value is not present on the hash set, we will add the corresponding value within the hash set. Otherwise, we will break our for loop because we have got our desired triplet. So over here, we will check that whether the value is present on the hash set or not. So if the hash set contains the remaining value over here, means we have got our desired triplet. So over here, we will be printing out the triplets, which is our required solution. Otherwise, if the value is not present in the hash set, then we will push the value within the hash set. And at the end, we will close the two for loop over here. So this is basically the entire algorithm of finding the triplet having a particular sum in a given array. So over here, if you just calculate the complexity of the program, you can see we are iterating this entire array two times. One for loop over here and another for loop over here. So the total time complexity of this algorithm is order of n square. Whereas we are using our external hash set over here. That is why the space complexity of the program is order of n. So hopefully you guys have understood the complete solution of this problem. If not, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And do not worry about the code, I will be giving the entire code snippet in the description below. So feel free to check out the code in the description below and try to understand the code thoroughly so that you can easily crack this question during your interview. So hopefully you have liked this video. If so, please do like and share this video. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from my side and you are always ready for your next interview. So let's move to the next question of our searching algorithm series. See you on the next video. Thank you.